Thank you and good afternoon, Madam Rajavi. Our pleasure and our privilege to be here with you today. Let me ask you a question. It's a warm day in Paris. It's a hotter day in Iran. But do you feel the winds of change blowing over Iran? And you, you are the people, your brothers and sisters in Albania, and your brothers and sisters in Iran, who are blowing that wind with an ever-increasing force. Well, we don't have to be weathermen to know that the winds and the force of change is not only irrevocable in Iran, but it is blowing with increasing force to a logical conclusion. Although things are changing around and under the regime, the regime's agenda of terrorism has not changed. Last Monday was the 22nd anniversary of the IRGC Saudi Hezbollah bombing of the U.S. barracks in Kobar Towers. Since then, the regime has continued to export terrorism in Yemen, in Argentina, in Syria, all around the world. That has not changed. What has changed, however, is what's going on in the hearts and minds and on the streets and bazaar in Iran. So I have two very brief messages. The one message is to the freedom fighters in Iran. We support you. We're there for you. We can move. We are amazed at your courage and your bravery. We can move satellites to help you communicate. We can shut down companies on secondary sanctions violations. We can't carry the fight as you have because you are the tip of the spear for liberty. My second message, my concluding message, is to the oppressors in Iran, to the terrorist regime, to the criminals who are arresting, torturing, and murdering their citizens. This is not 100 years ago. We have the ability and will maintain the ability to bring those criminals to justice. I have a little experience in this. There are things that are called evidence, witnesses, digital records, bank accounts, witnesses. The day will come when not only democratic change will be brought to Iran, but the criminals who have committed crimes against humanity will fill the criminal courts of the international community. They will be brought to justice, and they will make the current international criminal court look like a traffic court. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. God bless you.